Tech Revision with Mrs. Swanee Pooh. <laughs> Hi everyone, this is a quick revision um, PowerPoint video on material properties. So this is a really key thing for you to understand. It's the basis of all um, understanding of materials, really. You need to know what these different properties mean so that you can talk about them confidently when you come to the exam. So there's two different kinds of properties that you need to remember. We've got mechanical properties, and these are all about how a material reacts to an external force. So something um, squashing it, something pulling on it, something uh, bending it, those are all mechanical properties. Physical properties are a little bit different. These are to do with the makeup or the structure of the material that just innately gives it this kind of property. So we're gonna look through all the different types of properties that you need to know. I'm not gonna go through these in loads of detail. So if any of them you're not sure about, you might wanna look at those in a bit more detail, um, just so you understand them um, you know, enough so that you could write confidently about them in the exam. So here we go. These are all the different types of properties that you need to have an awareness of. So if you have a look through all of these, some of them are mechanical and some of them are um, physical uh, properties that you need to have an awareness of. Um, and very, very quickly, the first ones that I'm going to highlight, these are all your mechanical properties that you need to uh, understand. So we've got tensile strength. So tensile strength is all about um, a material's ability to withstand pulling forces, so kind of stretching forces. So if it's got good tensile strength, it means that it will resist being um, stretched okay, or pulled. Next one, hardness. Hardness is the resistance to indents and scratches on a surface. So it's all to do with just the, the kind of if you were um, to do you remember, we did the we did the test in the, in the workshop where you can get a, a centre punch, hit it with a hammer into a piece of material and see how large the indent is. And that will give you an idea of the hardness of the material. Toughness is one that often gets um, confused with just strength. Toughness is all about its ability to um, resist like fracturing under a sudden impact or an impact. So, for example, I always like to think of this with if you have a tough steak, you can chew and chew and chew and chew on it, but it won't. You can't cut through it. So it can change shape. It could bend. It could do all sorts, but it will not break or fracture. So the difference between toughness and strength is strength. If something is strong, it will not change shape. It will resist changing shape completely. So, for example, um, you would want materials that are strong for things like bridges, things that you, you don't want them to be bending around, you want them to stay very rigid, okay? Potentially, sometimes you want them to have a little bit of flex in them, but you get the idea. So toughness is the ability to of a material to take an impact and not to fracture, okay? Um, torsional strength, torsion is all about twisting. So when someone, when you were a kid, they used to grab your arm and twist it in two different directions, and that's really sore. Um, it's called torsional strength, so the material's ability to withstand fracturing from twisting. Okay. Um, next one, malleability. Malleability is to do with a material's ability to be able to be hammered and pressed into a shape. So things like copper um, and mild steel, low carbon steel, have good malleability. Things like gold and silver do. They can be hammered and shaped into, um, you know, flattened. Um, materials or flattened shapes so they are malleable okay not to be confused with ductility ductility is very specific ductility is all about the ability to be stretched out into a wire or be able to be stretched out into like a really really thin um, uh, kind of what am I trying to say a thin kind of diameter okay so ductility all about being stretched out into a wire Plasticity and elasticity, don't get these confused. So elasticity, if you think of just like an elastic band, it's a material's ability to be stretched and return back to its original shape. That's the important thing. It returns back to its original shape. Plasticity, if you think plasticine, 
is um, when a material can be squashed but it and it stays in that shape okay so it kind of like its ability to be molded which you might think is that not similar to malleability yeah there are crossovers between these different terms but if you think plasticine it's got plasticity because you can squash it and shape it and mold it and it retains that shape okay bending strength exactly um, what it sounds like ability to resist bending bending is normally characterized by uh, a, imagine a beam and one end is fixed and you put a weight on one end so you're kind of trying to bend the material so if it withstands that then you would say it has good bending strength shear strength if you think like garden shears or fabric shears like kind of scissors shears is like two materials moving um, opposite ways to each other um, so for example um, scissors are a good examples of shear strength so it's kind of like if you imagine put your hands together in front of you um, and then move them in opposite directions so one one in front of you and one away from you uh, towards you that's a shear strength okay so that's a, that's an important um, property for lots of different materials and compressive strength is exactly like it sounds compression being able to withstand something squashing down okay now ductility again I was always told to remember ductility by stretching a duck's neck don't know why but it's stuck with me and it's always stuck with me but ductility um, is like I said the ability to be stretched into a thin wire so copper steel um, things like that are, are highly ductile right next slide these are all of your kind of physical uh, properties so I'm not going to spend too long on these because that lots of them are very very um, simple thermal insulator not going to let heat travel through it very very easily so things like polymers are quite good thermal insulators that's often why they are used for casings on the outside of um, electronic products they stop any heat transferring onto the user so drill handles and things are made from um, either ABS or sometimes thermosetting polymers so that they uh, you know it's insulated uh, magnetism um, well are, you know materials with um, iron in them ferrous metals they've got those free electrons that gives it that magnetic um, property electrical conductor conducts electricity very very easily metals are going to be your go-to ones for that but also you've got things like silicon um, opaque means that you can't see through it at all so you you know if a material is opaque it's colored or it's you know you cannot see any light coming through it thermal expansion is all about as a material is heated how much it expands so carbon fiber is quite a good example of this it's got excellent um, it doesn't expand very much under th uh, under heat so that's why it's used on things like f1 engines because you do not want those high temperatures inside the engine to change the shape of components you know that have been manufactured to be very specific sizes small tolerances you don't want things changing shape due to heat so thermal expansion is all about how things change depending on heat got translucent which means you can see some light through it almost like a frosted effect transparent completely see-through um, we've got density uh, you know how much of a certain um, material there is within a measured amount um, so you know you might want to look that one up density always slightly confuses me but make sure it's nothing to do with weight I remember that I remember in science people telling me it's nothing to do with that it's about how how much of a particular uh, material is within like how densely packed the molecules are together um, fusibility is how easily a material can turn into a liquid so for example solder uh, is a good example of this it heats and it very quickly turns into a uh, liquid so it's good for things like soldering obviously um, electrical insulator again it's um, just like a thermal insulator it's stopping any electricity passing through it um, thermal conductor transfer heat very very quickly again metals are amazing for this obviously and corrosion degradation resistance its ability to resist corrosion um, oxidization um, and breaking down when exposed to things like oxygen moisture things like that 
OK, so those are some of the other properties that you need to have an awareness awareness of. OK, so in the exam, it's going to be really, really important that you can talk about these properties with confidence. So, for example, if you are given a question about um, low carbon steel, you need to talk about how it's a malleable metal, meaning it can be press formed, meaning it is easy to shape and easy to work with. So make sure that you revise these and make sure that you um, have some examples of types of materials that are, are good examples of some of these properties. Okay. Now on these pages, you may remember we, we did this um, as an activity ages and ages ago, right at the beginning of the course. But it gives you some ideas of um, what these different properties might look like, gives you an idea. So for example, density right here in the center, you can see it's all to do with how many particles or molecules there are in a set um, amount of space. Um, and this just gives you a few more examples of um, some images to get you thinking about what these properties actually mean. OK, so there we go. That's my video on material properties. I hope that helps. You need to make sure that you are happy with these and that you can use them confidently um, in your exam and in those questions when you're being asked about specific materials. Use these properties. OK, hope that helps everyone. Um, see you on the next video.